It's time for the latest installment of our new series that's called the Federal Reserve Bank of Squawk. This is where we talk to small business owners around the country to try and figure out how they're managing inflation, wages, and just generally doing business as the pandemic recedes. Our goal is to give you a firsthand look at the state of the economy from the ground level. Our next guest knows all about skyrocketing costs. Food prices are surging at the fastest pace in decades, piling more stress on consumers that are already stretched thin. Joining us right now is Willie Deagle. He's the founder of Uncle Jack's Steakhouse Brands. Deagle owns six restaurants in New York and Georgia and has about 300 employees. And uh, Willie, it's great to have you here today. I, I know that prices are up. I know that that's got to be a challenge, but this is also kind of a weird place where consumers have a lot of money and there's a lot of demand out there, too. What's happening right now? What do you, what do you just see as, as the sum of all that? Well, during COVID, I built three restaurants and I'm building a house in Hamptons. That's like a side job. I stay busy. And so I'm involved in so many different things where you see the price increases. So labor across the board since COVID's up about 25%. So to retain and hire and find good people, you're paying, say, if it was a thousand, fifty, two thousand, now you're paying another $250 a week. Product across the board, if you want to build a restaurant, furniture, equipment, everything is up anywhere from 25 to 100 percent. A walk-in mm -hmm. box lead times is six months, maybe nine months, cost is double. Then you have all your product. You have meat. Meat's up almost 30 percent. Seafood, some seafood like lobster, higher-end items are up 100 percent, 200 percent. So everything you're doing, you have to adjust and engineer your menu smarter, wiser, shrink your portions, raise your prices a little bit, beer, wine, and liquor, allocated, hard to find items. Again, distribution is tough. So you have to adapt to everything. But the number one problem right now is still, I opened those three restaurants, is getting open full time, finding enough staff to fill the positions. And that's everybody in every business across the board, Becky. So, Willie, obviously it's a very tricky time to do business, and, and yet you opened three new restaurants during the pandemic. You've got more on the way. So you, you must see something that's out there. There's demand for this, and you've found a way to kind of deal with all these higher prices. You know, being an entrepreneur is not an easy thing. You're always driven by this, you know, vision, and you want to create and build, and you have these ideas. So during a negative, I tend to try and get positive. And when everybody else says no, I tend to go. So I saw opportunity for a lot of failing restaurants and working with developers and prices came down and I was growing beforehand. So I said, let me jump on it. I never thought I, it's OK about the prices, the increases you can adjust at that. The, the restaurant business, you don't look to make money your first year, your second year. It's a long term plan. You sign 20 year leases, you buy properties, you develop them. You have to build your team first and then you'll be rewarded later because great people is what bring your restaurant to life. But finding good people today willing to work is very hard. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.